So cute. Hold on. Hey guys, welcome back to LGL and in this installment we'll be looking at the scariest and hardest part of getting fit. Your diet. <laughs> Now, to run these awesome machines, we're going to have to figure out what fuel they need. Now, you may think, oh yeah, that's cool, I'm just going to pump it full of mince and rice and get big and strong, but not everyone does it. Begs the question, why do we eat what we eat? Is it because we've been forced, or we know, or the worst of the all, convenience? Today, we're going to go undercover. To the most cesspity and unhealthy promotional environment you'll ever meet and endure in one's lifetime. We have no choice. We'll have to go to the university campus. Simon. Simon. I'm Senzo. My name's London. Uh, Brendan Kruger. Tiffany. 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 Megan. Megan. I uh, just cardio, do jogging, and play squash sometimes. Oh, good. I just want uh, Yeah, so I don't just need follow squash. At uh, this point, it's a combination between bodybuilding but more strength oriented than okay. you know, initially looking good. I go to the gym and I play soccer like once a week. Right. I'm quite into my yoga and my swimming when it's summer. Cool. Yeah, um, I train most days. Uh, I train for powerlifting actually. See some. Okay, that does count. No, I go to gym too. Okay. So. Do you gym? Do you do any form of cardio, jogging, play a sport, anything like that? Fantastic. Think on sexy thoughts. Think on sexy thoughts. Think on sexy thoughts. Don't get it, dude. I thought muscles were the only way. When it comes to a diet, there are three macronutrients: protein, such. Carbs, as such, and fats. Yes, we actually need fats, not you know this type of fat. I'm talking about the healthy fats that keep this machine well oiled. Now, when it break, when you break it down, those are the three major components you need to have a successful and uh, well oriented diet. Bring a bell to anyone who's serious in their nutrition. Bring a bell. That's a lot. Basic nutrients, like nutrients that you have to get every day. Now, when we asked a few people what they ate, these were some of the responses we got. Yeah, I do intermittent fasting, so then like, I don't eat until like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then from there, I'll try to get each macronutrient in the meal with mostly fat some carbs like but then so then like most fat then carbs then protein available to be honest yeah and whatever's kind of affordable okay that's the thing as a student four eggs in the morning four whole eggs in the morning uh, then my first real meal of the day would be 200 grams of chicken with three cups of spinach two hours after that i do a cup of brown rice with 200 grams of chicken once again and then i go to the gym that would be my pre-workout meal mm -hmm. Post workout meal, I'll have a whey protein isolate shake, mm -hmm. just a shake. Um, anything between a banana or a cup of oats, I do a cup of oats for post workout. Mm -hmm. That would conclude the majority of my carbs for the day. Um, I may have one or two snacks, like five almonds here, five almonds there. And uh, for dinner, I'll usually have either 250 grams of a steak or maybe lean mince mm -hmm. with 200 grams of veggies. If I had to get, go to bed, I'd school myself with a rice cake and like a bit of peanut butter or anything like that. Uh, generally, probably some white meat, fish or chicken, and lots of vegetables. Now, as you know, we don't like to overcomplicate chit chat LGL, so I'll break it down to you as simple as possible. Protein is your main ingredient if you either want to build muscle or tone your muscle. Why? It helps with your muscle synthesis. So muscles are made up of little fibers, kind of like a pillow or whatever you want to use as an example, a t-shirt. And when you exercise, whether it's running, weightlifting, whatever, those fibers tear, just ever so slightly, bit by bit by bit. And then in them will form more fibers to make it thicker and stronger and better and harder and faster and so on and so forth. Now protein helps 
with that repair. It helps with the building. So for all the women out there worried, no, 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 it's not going to make you big. It's going to tone you. Because the exercises you'll generally do won't rip the fibers as much. It'll help with putting more fibers on fibers on fibers, which will give you that harder, leaner look. So that's why we need proteins. Now let's have a look at carbs. Carbs are your carriers of the protein. You need to get these things from one place to another. Now sure, you don't need carbs, but it helps them get there faster. So if you have the right amount of carbs and not starchy carbs, it'll get them there and be used in the process, which means you'll still be lean. So just have the right amount of carbs and in the end, it'll help get the protein to your muscle and there'll be no fat excess whatsoever. The good carbs. So we do need them, which is why banting diets will work, but it'll take a lot longer, if you know what I mean. And lastly, let's talk about fats. Fats can be seen as the oil for our machines. They keep our hearts beating. They just overall keep our joints going nice and mobile. Now, another key point here is that even though your diet could be on perfect form and you could be losing weight and everything, you still need to consider the option of vitamins. Now, yes, you will get your vitamins in your normal diet. You'll get your iron from your meat. You'll get your BCAAs and all that, your good old aminos from your fats and everything that you eat. But sometimes you need to understand that everyone's body is different. All of us absorb at different rates. All of us are different in our molecular structures and DNA. So as an example, I have low blood sugar, which means that my sugar, the food I eat, that I try to aim to eat, needs to have just enough sugar in it to kind of keep me going or I need to be able to sustain myself. So on that front there, you need to consider options like multivitamins, omegas, and so on. That's why they were made, guys just to push your diet one step further. This is what separates just any old guy on the street and you guys trying to get fit and fabulous. You feel me? Take your vitamins, they're really inexpensive and it's just that little excess for your body to have. Your body will use what it needs and the rest will go. It's not gonna be stored, it's not gonna be detrimental in any way. Now we get to the bad stuff. Looking at starchy carbs, that stuff like white bread, excessive white rice, stuff like that. That sits, that's what, when you're gonna get that tube around your stomach, you know, get a bit of a book. It's time to stop! And so on, that stuff sits because your body can't digest it fast enough, so it keeps it and stores it as fat for later. It's the same as with sugar. Sucrose, all of that, unfortunately, aids in the storage and aids in keeping like all this stuff in your body. It kind of gums you up, if that makes sense. Think of a pipe and you've just chucked bubble gum down it. It's just gonna make things a whole lot worse. There's also studies about sugar promote, like promoting heart disease and all that stuff, more on the article on the website. The main thing you need to know is, guys, keep it clean as much as possible. Go for the brown bread. Go for the sugarless. Go for sweeteners, that type of thing. Just make your life a little bit healthier one day at a time. Now, I'm not saying just all of a sudden dump all your sugar in the river and run away and stick to only doing keto and all that fun stuff. One day at a time, guys. The main point is changing your lifestyle, and that can't happen in a day. There you have it, guys. The myths around your diet have been debunked. You know what you should and shouldn't have in your plate, and just kind of how to orientate your lifestyle. Like we said, don't go and change it all in a day, just one step at a time, one rep at a time. Maybe it happens over a couple of weeks. In the end, we want to change your lifestyle and not have one of those fad diets. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Tell me if you want to see Pikachu again. Tell me if you enjoy the whole casting couch vibe. Over 6 billion people in the world at this moment. What are the odds that they'll impact on your life? Most importantly, what are the odds that will impact on theirs? Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And yeah, remember, live large.